know why I'm doing that. Dead Space remake. That's in why I'm doing that. horror characters, Isaac Clarke stands out. Rather than a regular Joe oh, attempting okay. to outrun zombies, Dead Space's protagonist is a space engineer ready to weather the harshest conditions. That's clear to see in his now iconic spacesuit, which has received a grimy upgrade for the upcoming Dead Space remake. To learn more so about the suit and its rugged original. aesthetic, we spoke to both the costume's original designer and the creators of the Dead Space remake, who revealed all the many details that go into making such a distinct design. The original suit was designed by Chi Wai Lau, a concept artist who Chi worked at EA alongside Dead Space creator Glenn Schofield back in the early 2000s. Talking to IGN, Lau said, To begin with, my suit designs were all over the place, ranging from very slim fitted to very bulky, some very robotic looking, a couple even carried a giant sword. They were drastically different from the Dead Space suits we recognize today. As Lau refined his concept, he turned to pop culture to inspire the details, specifically a beloved Japanese mecha anime. One unusual candidate that was the most influential to me at the beginning stage of designing the suit was the anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion, particularly the spine and the entry plug design of the Ava. It was a prominent functional and visible element of the Ava design, and got me to implement a similar emphasis of a very prominent spine and life support system of sorts on the back of the suit at its early stage. It was mostly for visual and fictional purposes at that point. However, the idea of having the hood on Isaac's back came soon after from the team, and the spine then went through dramatic changes to implement that hood afterwards. Lara's final design for the suit came together that. when he challenged himself to work with repeating sci-fi motifs that he traditionally found quite boring. Things like exhaust vents that are often used to fill the blank spaces on a design. But what if I used this boring repetition as a motif, a visual language of sorts on the suit? How well would that work to fit the theme? It might convey an interesting rugged look, yet something that I wouldn't normally go for. So as I did more sketches, I started implementing this ribbing design on the suit with long, thick horizontal armor strips rather than conventional armor plates. The suit needs flexibility, so I added spacing between these thick armor ribbings so they are less restrictive. The ribbing flows more organically in some sketches than others, but that was pretty much the first step of turning the iconic Dead Space suit into its current form we know. That ribbing design soon became a vital part of not just Isaac's suit, but the entire game. Not only did it work very well on the character level, it could be something that worked on our rooms, our hallways, our vehicles, and even the exterior of the Ishimura. The ribbing motif became a resonating aesthetic for the rest of the game, wherever we could apply it, to create our vision of a somber, gothic, architectural environment in space. That industrial gothic aesthetic has since become iconic, and so one of the biggest challenges faced by the Dead Space remake team has been upgrading that look for 2023. We had the opportunity to redesign the suit from scratch, and we did. Early on, we did some sketches that explored a quite different version of Isaac. It looked a lot more sci-fi, but it didn't feel right. It felt too futuristic. It felt more like Isaac was turning into a robot. I didn't feel like it was right. Everything in Dead Space, there's a lot in the characters about bones, dismemberment, and basically what's inside <clears throat> that should not be outside. It's the theme of the body all. And it's a bit the same as the concept of the armor. That's why there are all those metal plates that, that look like ribs and those kind of elements. It's not only to be consistent with the world design, but also to reinforce some themes of the aura in that space. Just like with everything else in the game, we want to make sure that we are Detail honoring the legacy crazy, of that space. So we want good. it to Sorry, feel I'm exactly like zone. the original game, but of course with the enhancements that we wanted. I just keep thinking about The Callisto final Brock design War. stays faithful to the ribbed, brass <laughs> diving suit look of the original, oh, but with man. an increased level of detail. The aim was to sell the suit as a genuine, functional piece of equipment. So we said, okay, let's get a little bit closer up to the suit itself and think of how it would function. What do we need to do to add those credible details to it? So we just started from the ground up. We said, okay, well, the helmet. Okay, the helmet looks cool. It's very iconic, but <laughs> let's model Definitely the whole thing. Iconic. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Let's add this the whole padding. game is more iconic. comfortable for Isaac. So that's yeah. how we would think of it, is that in a very credible way, if you had to wear that suit, what would you do to it? We had to rethink a little bit the suits and, okay, what is it made of? That's a universe where resources are stranded. And that's why they have to go to space to my gigantic planet. It's because nothing's left on us. So leather 
that type of society must be really, really rare. We had to really think about the different material and, and structure uh, to recreate the suit. The other thing that bothered us a little bit were the boots. It felt very simple in the original version, but we came back to that design as well and then actually gave them proper boots that have a lot more articulation. We've added a little light on the heel to signify you when the Mac boots are on. This is also a serious so remake, trust us, because you can float in zero G. So we had to think, okay, where are those thrusters? I love it. I love it. Yeah. How the the work, whole this atmosphere how is amazing. How would they help you navigate in, uh, in zero G? And that went also into the design. Yes. The original rig loved the design. It looks so unique and iconic, and we wanted to retain that. We don't want to mess with it. That but so flat. when you look at it, it, it does look kind of flat and simple. Yeah. And what we did is we actually modeled all the individual pieces, and there's so much detail. You can actually zoom into each one of those sections and you see the mechanism that's inside. We also added on the back, you can see the stasis meter and the kinesis as well. So there's a lot of detail there. I think overall it works because it still feels like the same suit from a distance, but when you see it up close, it's a lot more realistic. The final version yeah. of Isaac's suit is representative of the Dead Space remake as a whole. A more detailed, believable version of the thing you've loved for years. At a glance it's the same, but take a closer look and you'll find dozens of new elements that help elevate it into the modern age. For more from Dead Space, check out how the development team recreated one of the original game's most chilling scenes, and how the so remake great. fits into the modern survival horror. It's mad yeah. because the way that and we're looking at it now, stick it brings back IG. the memory of when it first came out back on PS3. Yeah. This is how it looked to me back then. Do you know what I mean? And now it's just so now like looking more back at the old original 3D. version. It's like, what the hell was that flat crap, man? What was yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> but that's because we're old. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the game's gonna be great. Like, they really went deep with the detail and. It's well thought out, the whole suit yeah. and everything, the yeah. environment, the whole game is going to be great.